sometimes life hits you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. If today were the last of your life, would you do what you are going to do today? I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, If you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'll most certainly be right. It made an impression on me, and since then, for the past 33 years, I have looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death. Leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way. I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. So it's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of worrying constantly and if you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you've got to love it and you've got to have passion and I think that's the high order bit. I've been rejected, but I was still in love. I was lucky, I found what I loved to do early in life. Waz and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. People say you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing and it's totally true. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. And you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, you're going to give up. If you really look at the ones that ended up, you know, being successful in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes. It's the ones who were successful and loved what they did so they could persevere, you know, when it got really tough. And the ones that didn't love it quit because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? That was one of the things that came out most clearly from this whole experience, with cancer. I realized that I love my life. I really do. I've got the greatest family in the world, and I've got my work. And that's pretty much all I do. I don't socialize much or go to conferences. I love my family, and I love running Apple, and I love Pixar. And I get to do that. I'm very lucky. Quotes for Success Channel creates motivational, inspirational, and life-changing quotes from famous people in history and present time. Like and subscribe to my channel for updates on new videos.